I came to the museum, one of my ambitions was to provide programming in contemporary art that was truly participatory, which only happened when the visitor completed the work of art. And that's the case with Soto. I knew that our audience is going to truly enjoy running through that space, holding on to the strands, perceiving that enormous elliptical orb glowing in the space. Jesus Rafael Soto is one of the most important artists to have emerged in Latin America in the second half of the 20th century. He was not only a great artist, but a pioneer in the exploration of movement as it relates to both the artistic object and the participation of the viewer. He, unfortunately, while he was very much revered in Europe and in Latin America, and is also very well known in Asia, he is an artist who's not that well known, particularly to broad audiences here in the United States. The penetrable was part of Soto's goal of using art to make people see and understand the world in different ways. He aimed to transform people's perception of their everyday surroundings. We will have several of them like this. Yeah. All those which are... I knew Soto and his family since I was a little boy. And when I started to study architecture myself and become an architect, I'll be helping Soto in projecting a couple of penetrables and installations of work of art. A specific case uh, for Callinan Hall, he established the project uh, during a visit in Houston. Uh, my involvement came just after he passed away. So we have this huge project, but now well, the problem is just how to make it true and real. This specific project has one element which was new for the work of Soto for the penetrables is the fact that this one, it's not monochrome. It has a painted section inside. Chaque tube a sa place précise puisque chaque tube a sa code de peinture. En fait, il y a 18 000 fils qui ont une code de peinture précise. Mais quand je dis précise, ça va, c'est au millimètre près. Quand elle a été donnée, elle a été donnée au millimètre près. Ouais. Donc tout ça, c'est un travail, ne serait-ce que déjà pour, pour quantifier un peu cette masse de travail. On a, on a passé quatre mois à simplement faire le nœud, couper de longueur, parce que tout ça est arrivé en, en bobine de 500 mètres. On a passé 200 km de fil, ça, ça paraît énorme. Et, et du coup, on a passé quatre mois rien que pour faire le nœud, étiqueter le fil par rapport à sa référence, son emplacement, et couper de longueur avec deux personnes pendant quatre mois. The playful dimension is very important. Maestro Soto was never afraid of having the kids running into it or pulling the, pulling the tubes, pulling the cords. I mean, it's part of the life of it. The interaction is, is important and it's real. It's not the usual uh, relationship with, with art. So walk through, touch it, uh, feel it with, with your body. So it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice and playful, it's joyful. I feel like this is a really exhilarating moment. Uh, it's been almost a decade since we started this project, and I think finally you know, we're going to see it happening. My hope is that uh, the penetrable will become a fixture, uh, not only of the museum, but of the, of the city of Houston.